Ok, ok, ok. So, we've been branching out a lot. Like, a lot? But uh, there is still one area where... There is still one zone. There is still one... There is still one thing that we haven't branched out on. And I believe everyone is aware of that. So, today, we're doing just that. I bet that you as guardians out there have been waiting for this moment and it's here it's here to stay so i decided to branch out in terms of action figures as well and the first thing that i thought of is have something from movies also until now we've had anime stuff but only from dragon ball and today we're going to play a bit with the thunder Today, on the Ancient Gravity channel, we're going to introduce a new series of action figures. And this time, it's about Marvel action figures. Uh, here we have the one and only Thor. One of the strongest Avengers, if you ask me. Well, after Iron Man, I believe, right? So let's take a look. Now, hold on for a minute. Would you look in here? We have... A really nice display window in the front of the box with a couple of logos that of course we haven't seen on the channel before we have the Marvel logo in here with the name of the movie this figure comes from which is Avengers Infinity War we have a gallery over here the name of the action figure which is Thor of course our main character PVC diorama the Avengers logo really nice I really like this one on the side of the box we have a lot of elements like uh, not really there is kind of the same thing as in the front but we only see the figure from the side of course through this nice window right see-through window we have the logos and the name of the character we also have Thanos in here look he's about to snap his fingers and destroy half of the world well in the back the entire thing changes because we have our figure in here with the name of the collection by the way which is not in the front of the box we have the diamond select toys which is the collection this figure comes from. We have a little story for our character in here, and again, the logos and Thanos. Well, not an entirely different story in here, because this is just a copy-paste of the other side. The top of the box, kind of the same story. We have uh, Marvel Avengers Infinity War, Avengers logo, Thanos, and that's just about it. Now, at the bottom of the box, we have the Marvel logos, some uh, comic shop locator service, I don't know what that is, and a few informations about the Diamond Select Toys collection we have in here. Okay, so back in action, look at this guy, it's insane. This figure comes as a whole, like you have nothing to attach or detach from this figure. The only thing that this comes in addition to, it's this little um, paper that states this is a licensed product from Diamond Select Toys. It's nothing 
that major, but it's something that adds to uh, how cool this figure is. So let's take a close up look because here we have a lot of thunder going around the figure and lots of details. I have to say that the base, it's something way bigger than we've seen on the other action figures. Look at the size of this thing. It has some dope details. I mean, this is plastic, but it's done really, really well. So we have some thunders going around in here and at the base of the thunders, of course, we have the 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 paint application they've done in here is like there is light going on around here because of the thunders, right? Every little thunder has that detail. Just look at the hammer or axe, however you want to call it. All me on near 2.0. Um, but uh, yeah, the details on this thing are mad. Oh, and by the way, his eyes are lighting up. Like, uh, he would have thunders in them. Like, he's got mad because Thanos is about to steal everything from him. And he got mad. He went to his friend, the dwarf, and asked for a new weapon to be created for him to defeat Thanos because Mjolnir was broken by his sister in the previous movies. And this scene over here is from the time he was almost dead because he was struck by the beam uh, of the star that was used to melt this metal over here. I don't remember really well how the metal was called. The Mad Titan, I think. I don't really know for sure. Anyways, let's go back here and take a spin on the figure because we do have to see each side of it taking a look at the side of the figure we can see some uh, really nice details in here with uh, this thing I don't really know how to call it this broken wheel down here and of course the ground really nice really dope details we have uh, the lightning going around Thor's hands we have the side of the Mjolnir 2.0 how I like to call it and of course uh, his uh, his cape that goes here in the back really nice detail I really love it here is the back of the figure again some really really nice detailing in here we have the entire axe oh and by the way the handle of the axe was made by Groot if you remember well if you watched the movie you will see and you will know what I'm talking about right now again we have a couple of lightnings going around with some uh, paint down at the base of the lightning to simulate the fact that there is a, a bright area because of the light that comes from the thunders right from the lightnings uh here is the other side of the figure nothing to complain about in here the there is no error in the painting in the paint application done on this figure everything is done so well that i don't know i just don't have words for it and the price that this figure comes at it's mad it's mad it's about i don't know uh 20 something bucks 30 bucks somewhere in there maybe lower than that but compared to any other figures that i have had on the channel previously the price and the quality in this one are really really good extremely good i could say oh and i almost forgot to tell you that this guy it's really tall and i'm not just kidding like this guy they said it's 23 centimeters, which is 9 inches tall. But guess what? When I took the measurements on this guy, there is an entire different story. Like, from the toes up to his head here, Thor, it's about 25.5 centimeters tall, which is 10 inches. But when I went even further and took the measurements from the base up to the tallest lightning in here, this guy goes up to an insane 34 centimeters, which is 13.8 inches. This is just crazy. I mean, this guy just turned into my tallest action figure, as an entire that it is. So there is no way I'm going to do a comparison between this guy and other collections from Dragon Ball, because Diamond Select Toys has nothing to do with the collections we have for Dragon Ball. Even so, I wanted to go over a couple of things that we have in here. So I've picked up the figure at Zero Broly and have it next to Thor. Why? Because they have a few things, few similarities, such as the lightning going on around them and Broly, which has this uh, blast in here. So the reason I wanted to go over these two guys in here, it's the pricing right so we got tour and i looked up for how much i paid for this guy at 48 euros 
while this guy was 95 euros which is almost double the price on this guy like almost 100 euros and about 50 euros half of the price of that one and to look over the details we have in here i would say that these guys have done almost a job really near as good as the guys from this collection have done for broly like let's be serious here we're talking about price versus quality. If I wouldn't have been a Dragon Ball fan and would have just gone for action figures from Old Domain, I would have gone for this guy instead of this guy. Like, you could buy two of these figures instead of buying one of this, right? And have kind of the same details, same sick effects around the figure, which you can see in here. But I know that's just my thought on these figures uh, and what I think I would do if I would not be a Dragon Ball fan. Let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts on these differences and the similarities and the price range on these guys. What do you think of that? Okay, so uh, we're at the end of this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of me switching to something that i've never thought of collecting in the future so it's marvel right we have thor if you ask me this is a really great figure so if you have this available around you and you think of starting collecting marvel stuff marvel characters i think this would be a great piece to start with to tell the truth i never thought that i would start collecting anything else other than dragon ball stuff but with this around i don't see why i would not start collecting stuff like this anyway guys if you're still with me here at the end of this video, throw a like on it because you definitely like this figure and maybe who knows like the way that I'm presenting the content on the channel. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this guy and what you think of the fact that we've started collecting something else other than Dragon Ball. And if you're new, of course, tap on that red subscribe button because there will be more content coming for action figures and of course art content. About that, if you haven't checked out my last art video, go ahead, it's the previous video before this one. Check that out and if you like it, let me know in the comment section below stuff that you would like me to draw in the future and even stuff that you'd like me, uh, I don't know, see collecting on the action figure side. So until the next time, Ancient Gravity signing out.